today the project is the thermometer. This is the thermometer that I've built. It is a Arduino Uno on the back with a NeoPixel shield on the front and something just happened with my... there we go. Um, so right now it's 74 degrees in here and talk about a few different little things here. The uh, <clears throat> The temperature sensor is a 2N3906 right here, uh, wired up, uh, diode connected, and the uh, voltage out going into my uh, analog input. The the uh, internal reference is set at 1.1 volts, and so that we can get a decent range out of it. Now, there's a couple of things going on here. If you, I don't know if you can tell this on the video or not. But you can, uh, with your eyeball, you can see that it's flickering a little bit between uh, yellow and green, um, a little bit yellow compared to the green that it's at. So what I've done is I've set some set points for the color. The color follows a rainbow pattern, going from, oh my gosh, it's cold, is is dark, pure blue, up to, um, oh my gosh, it's hot, is pure red. Those are those set points are set manually in the code with a pound define up at the front. I do not integrate the color. So as things change, my hand's cold, I was just holding a cup of ice. As the temperatures change, you see that it gets yellow much faster than it gets and, and goes back to green much faster than it changes because I'm integrating the temperature but I'm not integrating the temperature color. So I've set 100 degrees as oh my gosh it's hot. There, it's hot. And a cup of ice water. Hmm. I need two hands for this. Hopefully you can see that. And it takes a while to get there because there's time constants. And you, you approach the temperature asymptotically. I really thought I had this set to say cold at this point. Maybe I got it set to... Okay. So, there we go, 32 degrees. Fahrenheit, which is just what we'd expect ice water to be. So I don't know if you could see all that or not. And now it's going to start going up. <clears throat> so there's nothing horribly nifty about this code. The uh, piece of paper is a diffuser, again, to keep things from being too obnoxious. We can see it turning blue. Um, all the way blue, I think I have set for uh, zero Fahrenheit. Um, and all the way red is set at 100. If it, I. So, the hard part of this was the numbers, getting the numbers to display on. And to do that, I used, um, I have a function that I call position, which turns the you can give it the coordinates that you want to go. So this corner is zero, zero, and this corner is uh, seven columns over and five rows down. It'll give you the linear position in pixel space, or the in the linear space that the Neo Shield uses to draw that, it will return the position. So you can tell it to do whatever you want. So I've set up a little routine that lets me draw individual numbers on there. So the code is available on my website and um, 
here again, we will display that the color rapidly increases much faster than the thing goes. If it gets too cold, it'll display CD. These are and the temperatures that these happen at are all user definable in the code. So feel free to take a copy of this and, and play with it and maybe do something neat with it. Much neater than anything I've done. Talk to you later. Bye.